My name's Oxy, but you knew that anyway. Uh, today we're doing a special unboxing of a uh, 3D printed hand, which uh, a guy called James has done. He's based in London. Uh, so we're going to uh, open that now. Uh, we did it via enablingthefuture.org. Have I mentioned that already? Okay, so we've done that. So here's the unboxing. And the new is uh, I'm actually cutting it open because uh, there you go. When I'm using a pepper pig knife, I don't know whose this is. Is this yours? Is this your pepper pig knife, Phoebe? I do apologise for using a pepper pig knife. So open it like that. And I'm going to let Joe open the rest of it. There's plenty of bubble wrap there, okay. Excited, Joe. Mm. Wow. Wow, look at that, that's good quality, isn't it? Look at that, that's amazing. What do you, what do you think of it, Joe? That's amazing. Huh? Wow. Okay, so we'll try it on, and then... Uh, that, that's awesome, isn't it? Okay, we'll put that on. Okay, here it is, look, there you go. I think it might need a little tightening. But look at that, that's bizarre, isn't it? This looks great. So what do you reckon, Joe, so far? Very good. Yeah. Cool. Now peel it. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Give me that, give me that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Now put the banana on the table. There you go. So, is there anything you want to say about it? It's very good. <laughs> oh, cool. Show us it again. So, uh, here's the uh, hand itself. Uh, I just want to show you the mechanism of it. Um, basically, Joe's hand goes in this little section here, this little leather pouch. And then, so when he rotates forward it grips now when people saw the actual video of him holding a banana people thought it was like some kind of electronic sensors and stuff no it's not it's it's somewhat like uh bruce campbell in evil dead do you remember when he makes that metal glove hand it's like that and uh these little things here i think i showed you them earlier but you twist these and then that uh, adjusts the tension and stuff. But yeah, it's 3D printed. Uh, basically, if you don't know what that is, Google 3D printed. Uh, it's changing the way the world works, I think. It's bloody amazing. The detail. Look, it's, look looks like he's even got fingerprints. It's not, but it does look like it. I've never known anything like it. As I say, like 15 years ago, when Joe was born, I knew something would come. You know, I thought, oh, they'd be able to transplant hands, which they can do, or do something. But this is bloody awesome, isn't it? And it looks quite cool, too. Hey, look at that. So last night I was playing with a hand and then Joe turned around to me and he said, Dad, don't be greedy, you've already got two. So I thought that was really funny. Um, thanks to all the people that have liked the video, uh, showed their support, showed their congratulations on Joe's new arrival. It's like a baby, in it? It's not, though. Uh, it's, it's a hand. But we just, I just want to say thank you to James, who uh, created the hand, who communicated with us. Um, it's one of his first ones, I think. And uh, I think... I think he's done a cracking job. Um, thank you to, to uh, enablingthefuture.org. Um, so if you want to have a chat with them about uh, the hands, uh, 
give them a call, drop them a line. And, and look, what they're doing is bloody amazing. This, I don't, I don't, I, this is doesn't cost ed, hardly anything to make something like that with a 3D printer. You know, it's really good that uh, friend, a couple friend of mine on Facebook said that it was great to see the 3D printing technology shown in a positive light because a lot of people just, you know, oh, you can print guns. Yeah, yeah, you can print guns, but you can bloody print awesome stuff like that. Um, if I had one, I'd be I'd be making these for people. I fucking would because I know about doing 3D and stuff, and you no, know, I think it's awesome. So anyway, uh, thank you everybody. Uh, this is Joe's video, um, and it's me as well, but mainly Joe. Bye.